So what's up, Bash Babe? I am back. I just finished the game with my daughter and it was neck and neck. The game was neck and neck. But at the end, the other team, they pulled through. They pulled through. They had they had one girl. She was she was good. She she was she was good. I'm like, how are these young girls how they built like this? None of those were in the ingredients when when he was making me. I'm just straight tree trunk. <laughs> you know, being a teacher is not the easiest thing to do. There are a lot of expectations that a teacher has that's put on them as far as lessons, lesson planning, making sure this person, that student is getting this service, that service, filling out this form from this meeting. It is a lot that you're dealing with multiple hundreds of different personalities. You're dealing with multiple parents. Luckily, I really, I honestly, I have to say I've been blessed with the parenting. And I will say, and it's on me, I'm not the big caller. I'm not the biggest caller in the world. I, I, don't, I don't call parents. I feel as though you can see what grades are posted in the system that we use. You can have conversations with your child. When I'm trying to manage 135 students, I don't got time to manage a child. I, I don't got time for that because they, I gotta deal with the lessons. I gotta deal with uh, classroom management. I gotta deal with the creativity. I gotta deal with the fussing. Gotta deal with this. Gotta deal with what's going on behind me because somebody's always trying to be slick. That's why I got mirrors posted in my room and where I can see what's going on behind me. Stop. That's my thing. Stop. <laughs> then I gotta deal with the banging, the tapping, the, the tattletaling, the this, the that. It's a lot. So I'm not the greatest teacher in the world. I have my my downside. I have my upside. There's some things I do that are great. There's some things I don't do well. And it is what it is. Okay? Who's perfect? Right, I thought so. So anyway. But one of the things as a teacher that we do is sometimes we have to deal with management, administration, parents. We deal with so many different things. And so I got called into the principal's office. Yes, I did. Because of a video, an educational video. You know, I have a personal channel. I have a food channel, which I haven't been eating food there in a while. And then I have my personal life channel. And so they're all separate. So So I have my educational videos and sometimes I try to make those as entertaining and fun. And from year to year, I may bring up a video because I create the videos to teach a lesson in a way that the kids can relate to the lesson. And some of my lessons have been done years ago and then I'll bring them up because the kids connect with them. We're in a digital world. We're in a... Um, YouTube world, Instagram, Instacart, taking the top world. So I've done some lessons on taking the top too to try to relate and connect with my students. It's just the world we live in. So when you have a parent that's going to complain about a video that all my students love and connect with and understand that I did many, many, many moons ago, then you want to have an issue with the video. Is it you having an issue or is the child having an issue? So anyway, I got in trouble or I don't want to say trouble, but it was brought up. Now you bringing something up to the principal, your intentions is to get me in trouble. Or you just could have emailed me or had a conversation. Could have been a quick conversation. No, your intention was to get me in trouble. And I really don't think it was the child. It was the parent. The child probably went home, ah, this video, blah, blah, blah. And it was funny, blah, blah. And then the parent goes to digging and you don't like who I am. Then move your kid out of my class. It's simple. So when you are offered to have your kid moved out of my class, you chose not to have the kid moved out of my class. Because what's gonna happen, you still looking at the stuff and digging in my educational channel and my personal channel. My personal channel don't have nothing to do with my educational channel. So what you bringing it up for? They're two separate entities. 
two separate entities. They're, they're, it's, if I say I live in a birdhouse, that's my business. What does that have to do with how I, I, I teach kids in a classroom? Which nobody has a problem with that. And kids beg to be in my class all the time. So what's the problem? Move your kid out of my class if I am not what you want your kid to have. Move them out. And you get the offer. So now I feel as though I'm the target. So when I ask to have the kid moved out of my class because I'm going to be the target, everything I do, even if the kid is going home to say something that's innocent, the parent already has it in their mind of, of, of looking at every little thing I do. Move your kid out. So if the offer is made to the parent to have the kid moved out, why the same offer can't be made to me? Because now I feel as though I have a target on my back move the kid out so it's so easy to protect the kid and the parent but not the teacher because i'm still gonna be the target of whatever it is i do move your kid out go down to mr samson's room mr carter's room mr bebo's room those are no teachers names in my school by the way just because you want to go back and tell that too I, I just made those up so it's just a matter of feeling supported move the kid out of my class because the parent has a target on my back because I'm not my personality is not oh, okay kids well today we're going to be learning that's not me that's not my personality my personality is what my students like because I'm different because I keep it real because I keep it 100 because it's funny it's fun it's lighthearted and I, I'm, I'm just me and that's why I like my little sixth graders because they love me just the way I am they love the energy and I love their energy we just mesh like peanut butter and jelly they silly I'm silly we just get along like ebony and ivory okay we get along like a hamburger and fries you know it's just a good combination we get along like macaroni and cheese and candy yams because when those two touch together it's just like the perfect matrimony in your mouth good they just go well together i'm telling oh and then you have some fried chicken on the side okay bring it back joy okay i just feel as though when you're in the education system support your teachers and with the teacher shortage going on out there with the teacher shortage support your teachers you so quick to kiss up to a parent and give them everything they want but what about your teachers god forbid if you late five minutes god forbid if you don't have something turned in on time they ready to, 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 to get on you what about all the great things you do the fabulous things these teachers do you don't notice that though but soon you do one or two things that's out of pocket you ready to jump down their throat but let a parent say something Ooh, you you all on the parent oh yes sir yes sir yes ma'am yes sir but when a teacher has a request mm -mm, you ain't important what you want doesn't matter even if you have a student in your class it's like this student is is it's just not a good marriage they make oh my nerves are bad my edge is falling out can we please move it to another no mm -mm, that's not what we do sometimes it's just not a good marriage it makes teaching it can make that class it can make that class miserable because of one or two students but to put in a request to have them move no no we can't do that that's not what we do because i requested to have two students move oh no that's not what we do okay but but it's not a good energy it's not a, it's, it's not a good mix it's, it just doesn't work we still want to have a job where we want to be happy too we want people to be like yo that's not working out for you i, I got you we want you to have a class when you're enjoying your students. And, and, and I'm telling you, it could be one or two students that'll make your class miserable. Whole class. And it doesn't have to be about your class. You can have the best classroom management in the world. But that one student is like, it's like, Ugh. and I don't care what nobody say. We have feelings. We're human. We human. We have feelings. We have feelings. But I'm telling you, the support for teacher, I think it needs to be knocked up a notch we should come first especially if you know a teacher is doing what they're supposed to do and they're a good teacher we should come first we should come you you should be backing us up like i said especially if we are a good teacher and we doing everything we put everything in on the line for our class everything put your teachers first 
make us feel like we first even if not make us feel that way because let me tell you something we won't remember everything you did but we will remember how you made us feel and we are human we're human beings we have feelings we have emotions we have we have we've had it up to here and sometimes we can't take no more that's why people are leaving that's why i'm considering leaving it's, 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 it's too much, especially when you don't feel supported. Let me tell you, the gag is coming. I'm going to give you a gag. Have something else for somebody to talk about me about. The gag is coming. Thank you very much.